I wanted to do a demonstration of the Jot script by Adonit, and I thought the best way to do it is do an actual uh, presentation with the Jot script uh, with two different applications on my iPad. I'm using the uh, Reflector application, which is uh, mirroring what's on my iPad on my screen. So the first application I'm going to use is Pen Ultimate. Uh, this is the application that works really well with Evernote, and since I use Evernote quite a bit, I do like using Pen Ultimate. Um, so we're going to see how it performs with the Jot script. Okay, you can see it uh, performed pretty well. It's, uh, of course, not exactly my handwriting, but pretty close. Uh, you can see one spot that showed up um, on the lower part where my palm was resting, but overall not bad. I did find that if I slowed down in my handwriting that it kept, seemed to keep up with me a little bit better. So next we'll go ahead and test the uh, application Note Shelf, which is the other iPad note-taking application I have. I now have um, a blank page open in NoteShelf. If you haven't used the application NoteShelf before, it is really a remarkable application for the iPad. I'm getting to use it uh, quite a bit more now. It offers so many features, including multiple types of pens and nibs and colors. Uh, it really does give you a lot of options to work with, much more so than Pen Ultimate does. So this is uh, basically a demo of the Note Shelf application with the Jot script. Okay, you can see there are a number of marks left on the page that were picked up by my palm resting on the iPad. So obviously those would have to be cleaned up before you would finish your document. Um, I felt like it uh, wrote better on the note shelf. It seemed to pick up my uh, handwriting a little bit better. I didn't have to slow down as much as I did with uh, Pen Ultimate. It's not, again, uh, an exact replica of my handwriting, but a pretty pretty good representation. So after trying the uh, Jot script with uh, both applications and trying it several different times, um, it's a nice pen, um, works pretty well. However, in my opinion, it's not worth the extra uh, $50 that uh, you would pay over the Jot Pro that I had previously. So in my viewpoint, the Jot Pro does an excellent job with uh, both these same uh, applications. Um, and is priced at $29.95 instead of $79.95. So uh, I would have to go back with the uh, Jot Pro if I was doing it again.